Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And guess what we're going to do today? We're going to be towing. That's right. F-150 Lightning Towing. Uh, I'm just here uh, waiting for the boat to show up. And we're going to load this sucker onto my truck. And we are going to tow it 185 kilometers. Mostly on a flat surface with a couple of hills. And then uh, we'll have to see how the range is. Truck is fully charged. Uh, due to some very windy conditions and whatnot that was going on in the last couple of days, it tells me I can only go 450 on the kilometers. So, 200 kilometer trek towing a 4,600 pound boat. The drag coefficient and uh, wind resistance will not be as bad as a box trailer or something like that. So, we'll have to wait and see. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're heading down the road. This is what we got. 253 with all the trailer info there's the boat on the back and uh, we're heading down the highway and we'll have to wait and see what happens when we get there yahoo clear blue skies oh I'd rather have the boat in the water okay all the towing is done we hooked up a 2900 kilogram Supra launch 22 to the back of the truck we hooked it up and we towed it 180 kilometers. When I put the information in into the truck, it said I could go 253 kilometers. It was fully charged. As soon as I put it all in, it dropped to 253. Now, just so you guys that keep harping about towing with electric trucks, which electric trucks aren't for towing, in the city, no problem. You hook up a work trailer or whatever you're driving around the city doing 200 kilometers a day, uh, you got no problem at all because you're doing 50 60 70 80 kilometers an hour you're not going down the road at 120 so this is the uh recap of what happened so when i put the boat on put everything in it said i could go 253 kilometers i only needed to go 180 that's not bad so i hooked her up and i headed down the road so we're in a 100 kilometer hour zone until we get on the highway the speed limit on the highway is 110 these Vehicles for electric vehicles are rated at the speed limit, okay? I'm sick and tired of people doing range tests at 90 miles an hour or 130 kilometers an hour. I mean, this is ridiculous. So, at 120 kilometers an hour, speed limit's 110, I was using 67 kilowatt hours to go 100 kilometers. I only have 130 kilowatt hour battery pack. I'm in extended range. Don't buy the standard range if you're going to do any highway at all don't do it just don't so 67 kilowatt hours well I gotta go 180 holy man that is more than half my battery pack so I'm going 200 kilometers it says I can only go 253 would have I made it no or if I would have I would maybe had one or two kilometers left so at 120 I ran that for about 10 minutes I'm like and, and I reset it and it's running 67. If it was really windy, if it was minus 20, no way. So I slowed down to 110 kilometers an hour. Well, guess what happened? That 67 dropped to 61. Well, I got 130 kilowatt hour battery pack. I'm going 200 kilometers. No problem. I'll get there. I can unhook. I can plug in. Off we go. Now where I was going, no DC fast charges. Uh-uh. If you don't have a home charger, you ain't charging. There's not even a 50 kilowatt charger where I was going. And there's only one on the way. So I had to get there, drop it off, and get back. Thank you very much. So, at that speed, I was like, hmm. Well, that's not too bad, but how can I do better than that? So I dropped it to 105. So I'm five kilometers under the speed limit on the major road, but I had to take a side road, and the speed limit on that side road was only 100 kilometers an hour. So I set it at 105 after 10 more minutes, and I went, okay, I'm gonna do 105. And guess what? It dropped all the way to 55 kilowatt hours per 100. Well, I ran the whole trek at 55. Okay, up at hills, down hills, up and down, some wind, whatever's going on, no problem. My 253 kilometer limit when I hooked up, when I got to where I was going, I went 180 kilometers and I had 70 left. 
that's pretty good accuracy. So at 105 and you're towing, you will get what it says. But please, please, please understand that if you are towing with an electric vehicle and it doesn't matter who it is, what it is, or where it is, the drag, the weight, and the wind coefficient that affects towing, there is no way an electric truck can tow 500 kilometers with a fifth wheel on the back. It's just not happening. Hauling, I got no problem hauling. I've filled this thing up three or four times and dump runs and all that kind of stuff and it works great. So thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps and we'll talk to you in the future.